I'm 16 years old and I've faced so many challenges throughout my childhood and adolescence, basically throughout my whole life. But every one of those challenges and struggles led to another challenge, another struggle, that at the end, something positive was acquired. Leaving my country of origin, Guatemala, was a relief for my family, my mom and my little brother. We traveled thinking that these troubles had been left behind. With only 12 years of age, I wanted the best for my mom and my brother. The journey wasn't easy, as I felt afraid most of the way, thinking we wouldn't make it to the US. We were always united. We were always praying and asking for protection. A hot Mexico was a challenge, but God never left us with a thirsty mouth or with an empty stomach. God was always with us. Getting to the border was a success, but that night was probably the scariest night of my life also, because I knew I was going to step on American territory, the nation of freedom. I had so many feelings. I was happy. I was nervous. I was scared. I had so many feelings. It was something difficult to describe. But finally, we had made it. Yet nothing was all right. As the officers put us inside of this room where we spent a cold night. The cruelty of the officers was remarkable. Especially the next morning when they called us. And just hearing those voices saying that we were going to be separated from mom made my expectations crumble down. A lot of things went through my head. Questions like, Am I gonna see her again? Where are they taking us? This can't be real. But the reality was that yes, we were being separated from my mom. My whole life collapsed. I felt like the time stopped for a moment and nothing made sense. This was a horrible situation that I don't wish nobody to go through. I knew it was hard, but I had a responsibility and it was my brother. God never left us alone. My eyes in tears watched how we were heading far and far away from my mom. I didn't know what had happened to my mom, but one day my aunt called us saying that my mom had been deported, but she was okay. We got in touch with my mom then, and I knew God was working at his pace, a perfect pace. I talked to my mom a few times a week, and it made me feel better. We needed my mom. Going to school and not having that kiss from mom was devastating. We needed mom bad. And God did a miracle in our lives. One day when we came home back from school, I saw my mom standing in the kitchen waiting for us. God had made a miracle. We hugged her with everything and God was always with us. Challenges and struggles are always present in life, but your faith can move mountains.